Alright, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Path of Rage. Today we're going to be continuing with our Warhammer 40k Inquisitor playthrough. Um, just before I hit play or record on this video, when I logged in, I got some weekly rewards. So, we're going to check out what those are first. Then we're going to do the seasonal boss mission to, just to see what those are going to be like. And I think after that we're just going to focus on the storyline, not worry about the Season of Judgment too much. Uh, and then we'll we'll go from there. So, right now, what did we get? Hello, there we are. All right, we got digital weapons that are okay. They're better than the frag grenades. Give it a go, I guess. Oh, this is even better. A deflector field of blindness. And you can see it's got uh, like do damage with critical hits zero out of a million. Or is that? A hundred thousand. A hundred thousand. I think as we level those up, this will actually change. Because this is an ancient relic. So, yeah, we're going to equip that. An, an Archaeotech relic I implant. Plus 17 quality. I'll take that. Uh, this is better, and it does healing. Actually, it does the same thing as... The last one plus some, so we'll take that. Now here's the question. We've got a relic chain sword. This is a one-handed weapon. I like the dual-handed axe. I also and I like the the two-handed guns. But I make I'm gonna keep this chain sword around and see if I get a shield to go with it because that might be even better and it is it's, look at the quality compared to the great axe but the great axe does more damage overall ah, we'll keep it for the time being sell the other stuff to Rihanna and do the seasonal boss mission which will give us more cool gear <laughs> All right, here we go. Start seasonal boss mission. Millions of soul. Wow, this is a quick and easy one. Purge the site. All right. It's the only thing that I really wish about this game is that you could play as the forces of chaos. <laughs> I'm all about the forces of evil. What I would like is a game, I would just, I would never mind, like I would love, is a game that focuses on the main character being one of the Thousand Sons. That is my favorite uh, Traitor Legion. It's my favorite backstory, lore-wise. I love everything about the Thousand Sons. That whole Egyptian look to their armor, yeah. Too bad in the actual main rule books, they've sucked for a long time. <laughs> GW just doesn't seem to know how to handle uh, uh, spellcasters in 40k. A hundred thousand worlds, right. ten hundred thousand wars. There is no respite. There is nowhere to hide. Across the galaxy, there is only war. All right, that's the. Uh... Yeah. That was the proximity mines, I forgot about that. Let's uh, switch my axe. I gotta make sure. Whoops. Ah. Right. Okay. Gotta make sure we don't miss any dudes. It makes us have to come back. I actually thought that that would, uh, like, drive me through the other enemies to hit them, hit the ones behind it. It's not. Died. 
Must keep an eye out. There is something to be said for the awesomeness of the grenade launcher. Must remember to load it. in my uh, frame right there. Wow. Not expecting that. Okay. Gurglings, feel my axe. Even in the fifties. Something's going down here. I think I'm gonna have to take a look at my uh, my settings before I record the next episode. It's doable, but I just keep dropping for some weird reason. Yeah, and he just disappeared. Oh, there we go. Uh, we just got a laser pistol. So, and a shield. Let's switch up to that. And do I want a pistol to go with it or a shield? Let's go with the shield. Um, wait. Do this. No. No. This. No. No. Okay. There we go. Oh, that's better again. Might as well just keep leveling it up. Okay, what do we got here? We have got... See, if I hold it down, I'll just keep charging or slicing through them. Wide strike, okay. Block. Might come in handy. We do... Okay. And then... Shield charge. Let's see how this does compared to the uh, two-handed axe. I tend to like those better, but eh, let's give it a try. Yeah, I like the other better. The, the two handed weapons, gotta admit. Hold up. Ugh. So, for the. I think actually I'm gonna go back to the X. I liked it better. There we go. Aha! A shrine of judgment! As I just spin around and slaughter everything next to me. Something to area of effect damage that I just love. Oh crap! Holy shit! Run away! Oh yeah. I keep forgetting I've got this shield. You know Astartes. 
But you can certainly fight, Inquisitor. Yeah, he knocked me down. That's not fair. Oh, wow. Okay, these dudes are brutal. Now yeah, let's go after the hit the wounded one. Ooh. Oh my god, run away! I'm gonna die. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Jesus! That is not helping, holy cow. So this is gonna be bait. Just keep baiting them. Oh! Just as I hit my inoculator. Jeez, these guys are brutal. Oh my god, is that a third? That was a third one in there. Look at how fast they heal up! As soon as they, they head back, so I can't back up too far. Loading. Oh, come on. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. I may have been more often I can chew here, folks. I'm out of inoculator charges too. This is bad. This is bad. I'm gonna die. Is there a way the hell back? Damn it. Once I take out one of these dudes, it'll be a lot easier. Holy shit! Damn it. I've only got six enemies total. I've got two more tries. This is brutal. Oh, we got some weird graphical glitches going on here. That's not good. Okay, I killed... Oh! One of them is down, at least. I'm gonna have to go back and get... Uh... Don't take unnecessary risks. One last try. Ooh, that's, that's really bad. Oh, shit. Never mind. I was gonna go the other way. Man, we got some serious graphical glitching going on here. Shoot! 
Yeah, I gotta get out of here. I gotta go back and get uh, the inoculator packs. Wow, I bit off more than I can chew here, folks. <laughs> Come on. It's all the way back in the next room. Yeah. See, at least I do heal up. Plus four, per, like, four points per second. But I, I need inoculators to take those things on. Probably only going to give me two. One. I came all the way back here for one. This is bad. This is bad. Definitely was beyond my means for this one. God, what? What's with the hitching? What the hell? Okay, we got some weird things going on here, man. Two enemies left. Look at all of this. Two enemies left. It's like I can't I can't avoid being hit by these guys. Getting seriously good gear going on here. Too. I guess if I really wanted to, I could have equipped some. Never thought of that. scared little child away from the big nasty machine let's get out here let my health build up see I've got a whole ton of stuff here Ooh. that's a two-hander isn't it yes it is good times Wow, no better guns. All right. What do we got? Eviscerate. Okay. What is this? Oh, that's cool. And then spinning. Cool. That's actually better than the uh, uh, Great Axe. Still not what I want to take against this bloody thing. Wow, I do not like this. What is going on? Loading. Oh. Oh, jeez. Gave them death generously. My compliments. You gotta love Kaya Storm. Some of the stuff he says is ridiculous. You gave them death generously. You know, like it was a a gift you handed to them. <laughs> All right. We leveled up. We're gonna have some passive points. We got some new gear, and then we're gonna skip this. Like, not worry about this now. Is this a plasma cannon? Yes. Start using them when I find them. Uh, we're just going to stick to the story for right now. Warfare point, nice. More gear. All right. 
let's, let's type. There we go. Yes, I'll take a better neural implant. level for this one yet. Ah, no big deal. Let's make sure that we've got all of these. There we are. Okay, and we'll switch over. I find it weird that your signums, like they're obviously on your weapons, but it would be cool if they just had the two. They didn't if they just carried over, you know. that. Alright, now one of these. That's better. That's even better. Main implant. That's better than that one. That one's even better. But again, I don't have the level. Well, that's two levels high. Higher. So, nope. We're good on that. Alright. Armor is still better with what I've got. Oh! <gasps> Relic power armor. Nice. I'll take that. Plus 13 movement speed when no damage is taken. Oh, look how cool it looks. See, this is weird. The, the demolition armor here, the purple, looks like this. So I would have thought it looked exactly the same, but... Dude, look at that. Oh, that looks sick. Ha, 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 ha. Now we've got this going on, so we're not going to worry. Oh, that's still better. Still, I don't like the single hand weapons. So, do we have anything here? No. All right. We can sell everything to Rihanna. Or, not Rihanna. For those of you who watch my playthroughs, uh, the woman that voices Rihanna in Mech Warrior 5 is the same woman that voices uh, Ragnar Van Winter. So, Hunt for the Martyr, we are going to continue looking for the Tech Priest. Which will give us access to crafting, although I'm not a, I'm not entirely certain about the crafting, how it works. Let's spend our points, by the way. Ranged combat. Yeah, let's keep going here. Okay. We're good there, and no, oh, yeah, that never turns off. Character, I think. Nope. Okay. Ah. Jumping in. Let's get another mission done. Now that we've substantially leveled up our gear, comparatively, <clears throat> I'm not a hundred percent certain what the level cap is. In this uh, in this game, I'm gonna have to find out. Hopefully, it's decently high, so you keep having something to progress towards. I do recall that the if I or if I recall correctly, the campaign in this is not overly long. Okay, I want to try this this sword. Oh, I like that. He just charges for it. Yeah, we're going to use that one a lot. Oh, hey, there's a shrine here. Uh, first things first. Tech Shrine gives us a boost. 100% damage bonus. Yeah, let's, let's make use of that. Yeah, certainly does a lot of damage. Excellent. 
Okay, this one doesn't matter if I kill all the people so much. We have to turn on the... Ah. We have to turn these things on. Yeah, see, because this is a chainsaw, when you, you go up to an enemy and hold that down, it just keeps cutting them. Keeps slicing in. I love it. Cool. Let's use our inoculator. I gotta stop walking through those. <laughs> yeah, so you just stand there and do damage. Love it. I get a kick out of it, the way you get through through those traps is just attack the door. <laughs> oh, it's up here. Oh, there's a chest. Let's grab that first. Sure, there was going to be a tripwire there. Yeah, there's just something nice about that. <laughs> Feel my wrath. Oh, you know, man, that's the thing. If you're going to play a tank, this is the way to do it. Get melee weapons and just go ham. I wonder what this machine does. Down with the Come on. Oh, what? No, we don't want to quit yet. There's a powerful dude here. As we just slice her. Oh, it doesn't keep going. Eventually it stops. All right, that's neat. That's cool. I thought it would just keep going as long as you held that uh, the trigger down. Obviously, though, it uh, it's it's a small burst. Good to keep in mind. All right. You know what? I'm not even going to bother looking at the gear. I think this is what I'm going to do in order to get as much uh, mission time in in these videos as as we can. I'm going to look at the gear at the very beginning of each video. The gear that we have, we're going to level up or like um, equip and go from there. You still can't. So, okay, fine. Um, and we'll just keep playing the, the missions we have and just look at the gear once. We data you found. The beasts indeed rely on these pirates for weapon supplies and delivery runs. Do we have anything to proceed with? We do. We have the direct connection and a place of meeting, but we don't know the location of the gang's hideout. Let us use some guile then. Contact the beasts in the name of these pirates and set up a meeting. Damn, that is cool looking armor. That is very cool looking armor. Okay, 
travel to the next destination. Or we shall smite the enemies of the Emperor. Sorry. God, oh, this is such a cool background. Such a cool universe, lore-wise. I've said it before in these videos, I'll say it again until the day I die. It's one of the coolest backgrounds for a, a franchise. I think ever. Just because when you look at a lot like Star Wars, Star Trek, a lot of stuff like that tends to take a, a shiny, positive view, even if there are dark moments. And then there's 40K, which says, no, this entire universe is shit and people hate it. It is weird that everyone keeps dying like from a distance away, and that's because of that season of the Tempest or whatever it is. God, I love I love melee. Let's get rid of this. Ready. <laughs> Might as well use it. Now, unlike that boss fight there with the three uh, plague drones or whatever the hell they were, uh, none of the stuff right now is going to be much of a challenge because you level up a lot quicker than your enemies do in this. Like, I'm level 18, and I think this mission... Yeah, it's level 14. I'm four levels higher than what the mission calls for. Oh, this continues on, so let's not go down this way yet. Otherwise, I'm certain we'll end up having to come back here. Oh. Ah, okay, so. There we go. Cleaned out that room. No chests. Is there? There is a chest. Yes, there is. I don't know why it's not. why these ones there don't show up. Protective hex on the chest. I must defeat the summoned creature. Back to the abyss creature. Easy enough. I wonder why this chest was so heavily protected. Cool. Bunch of gear. The good thing is your character can carry a lot of gear in this game. When they when they first built this game too, like at least it, you did not have the um same feel to it as you do now. It, it was much, much slower. They wanted it to be almost like cover base, where, you know, you'd come up here and you'd hide, and your cover would be taken out or whatnot. But fans of the series were just like, no, we, we don't like it. It's too slow paced. We want speed. We want to carve through the little guys. So they gave the, the, the consumers what they asked for. Kind of nice. It's not usually how it goes, is it? I do keep forgetting about the fact that my suit punches misses. Go level up again, and that guy—you could hear that ping, ping, ping—that weird energy-ish type of sound. That was a plasma cannon, I believe. Which I'm very much looking forward to getting. As much as I like the grenade launcher, uh, it, I find them somewhat boring to use. I mean, not that a plasma cannon is much better. It does the same type of thing. 
area of effect and all that kind of stuff. Got to remember to use my uh, right mouse button ability a little more. Spreads the attack. That ability I like. <laughs> and we are now maxed out on our season points, which is why we've got five floating things around us. Shh. Oh, blocked by terrain. To be fair, the grenade launcher does do a substantial amount of damage. Certainly not going to say it doesn't. I think what I like about the plasma weapons too, though, is you all you have to worry about is overheating. You don't have to worry about reloading. You don't run out of ammo in the middle of a fight, as long as you keep an eye on your gauge. I get, oh, a thunder hammer. Nice, we're gonna have to check that out. Chest. Yeah, I prefer the weapons that overheat than the ones you have to reload. Switch to this, because they're gonna spawn all around me. No, they didn't. That was different. I expected them to load around me. It is kind of funny how that that seasonal upgrade thing, it sends out attacks that hit everything, like, even way out of your range. There we go. Okay, let's do a quick sweep around this room for unverified chests run from the minimap. And no, we're good. Okay. Back to the ship. That is cool as cool armor. I'm gonna keep that around for a while. I think I could be wrong, but I think that when you get the tech priest, um when you find him and he brings crafting in that you can upgrade your gear. So I may be able to keep beefing this one up. Multi melt. Melt is unlocked. Nice. More attribute points. Cool. Uh, do I want that or that? Uh, I want to get up to 30 HP regeneration per second. We are going to start beefing this up to get to level 2. Okay. Uh, passives. Let's keep bringing this up. Now there's only one. Okay. And let's talk to Van Winter again. Have the interrogation chamber prepared, Captain. I'd like to start questioning the captured beasts. There's no need for that. A defector gave us everything without interrogation. Have you verified the information? Yes. We know the location of the beast's hideout, and <clears throat> we have confirmation about the captured tech priest. Excellent. Assemble an infiltration team, and send them in to extract the tech priest. I'll provide diversion by taking care of the main forces. There we go. And we're going to jump right in. Should be just enough time to make it, make it through the end. But see, we're level 15. Again, I'm still four levels higher. This will all change, though, I, I believe... Uh, in end game, because at that point you'll be more up to the same level. It'll be more challenging. It's an AR ARPG, so you know, think Diablo, think Path of Exile, Wolfson. Wolfson wasn't a bad game either. 
nice graphics on it. Weirdly designed characters though, like their legs are twice as long as they should be compared to the rest of them. <laughs> it was a weird design choice. Alright, let's get the tech priest. Let's bring him back. Alright, here we go. Just, okay. I do like the ability in this game to uh, swing the camera around. It comes in very handy. If you aren't paying attention, though, it can also really screw you up because you don't know where you're looking. Oh, there's a dude right here still. Space Marine. The idea that one grenade can take out a Space Marine is just, yeah. Loaded, and we're switching back to our badass chainsword. Nope, oh, there we go. Over in. Oh, what's this? Oh, hey. Yes, um, we have to get the Tech Priest from here, I believe. Seasonal mission available. Ooh, there's a dude here still. I'm not going to worry about the seasonal mission, though. Ooh, nice, got some legendary gear. Or relics, I believe. Not sure which. I thought the tech priest is in there. Maybe we have to bring him back. And I love this friggin' sword. <laughs> like seriously, what is not to love about this? Oh, I got stuck on the stuck on the uh, pipes. Level up again. Shooting big shit at me. Yeah, he's in here. Okay, cool. I have found him, Captain, but it's too late. The tech priest <laughs> seems beyond repair. Switching language module from Kant Mechanicus to Gothic. Apologies, Inquisitor. Proceed. Thank the Emperor. I've come for you. I'll explain everything later. Now, let's get out of here. Okay, there's a chest, but yeah, they thought so. Crafting gear. Run, force. I don't know what these are. If anyone watching this has played this game before, and you know what these are, please tell me. I, They appear every so often in various levels. I have no idea what they are, if they're just a glitch, 
if they're supposed to be that way. I just don't know. you don't have to worry about the tech, pe tech priest running off without you and getting killed. He stays well. Oh, whoa, 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 I see it. Oh, I was missing it. Ah, teleport beacon. Got it. A couple of them. That's where they all came from. Got another one. Four of them. Yep. Yeah. I just sm I just smote the wall. He does look cool, doesn't he? That's another amazing thing about uh, this universe, too. The art style is just fucking awesome. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna blow my nose. Going back on to the chip. Boom. Level 20. Unlocked grav guns. Nice. Yeah. Another seasonal boss mission. I'm not going to worry about that with this character for right now. All right. Well, that's going to cut uh, end this video for now. We're going to call it there. Uh, when we pick up in the next video, we'll talk to Rihanna. We'll, we'll talk to the uh, tech priest when he's there. We'll go through our gear and level up and all that kind of stuff. But for now, we'll uh, give the enemies of the Emperor a rest and a respite and carry on in the next video. If you like this one, give it a thumbs up. If not, I'd give it a thumbs down. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, if you're new, hit the subscribe bell and the or notification bell and, and the subscribe button. And until then, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.